Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Ant RC and this is part two of my styrene adventure uh, I am making to remind you the box unit of a typical Russian uh, radar um, ambulance military truck and um, it's going to go on the back of the CA-30 There's no such thing exists so I'm, I'm having to make it and I think in the last video, the first video, we saw the shell kind of sellotape together. Um, but in this one, I'm going to look at some of the detail that I've just completed on each of the sides. So it's not all put together yet, uh, but I have been busy uh, detailing each of the sides so that when I put it all together, I'm not having to work the panels because obviously it, it might collapse if I start trying to mess about with each of the sides. So I'm trying to get as much of it as I can can done while it's flat pack. So I'm putting finished sides together, deal with the seams, stand back and take all the applause. That's really the idea. Um, so without further ado, let's get close up and let's have a look. Right, so um, the biggest job, uh, certainly in terms of time taken, has been dealing with the glazing, dealing with the windows. So Here's the easiest thing to show you, which is one of the side strips. This is going to go on the roof, and it's going to go that way out, okay, um, and that way around, right? So that's the front, uh, the windows nearest the front, and as you can see, there's a couple of things to note here. Let me just get this in shot a little bit for you, maybe. Hope the camera's focusing okay. And I've put frames, so I cut these frames out and put them on the outer surface of the bodywork. The main aim for that of course is as you can see with the glazing in there now is that it should mask the joint between the glazing and the, and, and the body side. There are three glazing panels in here, they are numbered. This is panel 7, 8 and 9 because they're not glued in. So I've gotten them to the point where I can just pop them in and I've put masking tape on so that I can tell which one goes where because they're not going to be in for painting okay so when this is all built um, it, you know it's going to get sprayed and then I'm going to go in from the underneath put the glazing panels in the other reason that the frame is there is that it, it allows the glazing to go in from behind and not fall through so it won't pop out back through the uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be pushing it all the way through uh, and have it drop out. That's going to be rubbish as well. So the frame's got a very dual purpose. And the trick, obviously, is to make sure that there is enough of the frame overlapping the hole to secure the glazing in there. Um, so it won't take a lot of glue, in other words, to just keep the glazing in. Uh, um, so this, of course, is one of the strips with me plans. Um, it's one of these. Let me put it down for you so you can see it. It's one of these, so it goes on the on the slant, yeah. So it's going to sit on the, uh, and then you've got the uh, side panels. Now, let me have a look at the other panels because look, there you go. Number nine's gone. Let's pop number nine back in. So let me just show you the other panels that I've done. So here is, this is the one that's going to go underneath. So it'll sit a bit like that. That's the idea. You see the windows kind of line up. So with this, um, the the first breakthrough again, we've got we've got frames on the windows. Um, the first breakthrough I had in terms of detailing was at the battery hatch. Uh, so normally in, on the truck like the MCs, you've got a box that the battery lives in on the flatbed. Obviously, this is going to be covering all of that, and I can't get in. So I've had to make a little door. It actually operates into which the battery is going to go and lie on some sponge or some something unseen inside the shell. Um, that I will then be reaching, pull it out, swap the batteries, put it back in. So it's just had a little jerry built uh, catch on the back there with some odds and sods, a bit of servo horn for example there. Um, it's been dual lined, you can see there's a thicker piece of card. Um, I say you can see, I'm not sure if you can. Um, it's got a thicker piece of card with a larger thin piece over the top so that sits over the, 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 the door um, but you can't push it through that's what I didn't want to happen I didn't want the door getting pushed through so uh, like a submarine so door some little doll's house hinges they're cool get them off eBay uh, you know you know, bag of them for a couple of quid 
Um, I've then gone and started on the rest of the, the sides of this by adding extra bits of detail in. This is not just a pure, flat, um, unmarked uh, box. So I've created uh, some hatch ideas there. Just All of this now is just putting styrene, thin styrene sheet onto the surface. I haven't cut any more holes or made any more um, doorways or windows, okay? But these are just panels stuck on. Some, some you'll see in a minute have got hinges, but these two I didn't put hinges on. I'm working on the principle maybe they're like an internal hinge. Uh, I may yet put hinges on before I paint it, I don't know. Um, but uh, certainly just rounded off. All of these have got rounded edges, so I'm trying to you know have a theme. Uh, all, all the edges are rounded off on my my features. Some little plastic kit door handles from I think the MC. Um, I can't remember exactly where these came from, but one of the kits can't be many. I haven't got many to choose from, so probably the MC8 has donated quite a lot of spare parts. As you'll see as we go through this. Um, so I've got a sprue of little handles. So they've gone on there for a little bit of a uh, little bit of detail. Uh, the opposite side, this goes on the opposite side of the rig, this has got um, again, nothing functional but I've put a blank panel on this bit here, maybe you can see that, can I brighten this up a little bit, sorry it is, my house is really dark, um, I don't know, maybe that's brightened it up a little bit, um, but yeah you can see that the uh, there's a blank panel there, I'm trying to show you something that's white. It's really going to be difficult. So, blank panel here just for a little bit of relief interest. Uh, I've made another little doorway here with some hinges on. And I've actually made the hinges. Again, a little bit of scrap. Uh, scrap card. Is that maybe now a little bit too bright? And punch some holes in with a drill, with a tiny little drill bit just for like rivet detail, another handle on there. Uh, across this side I have this time scribed in, so carved in to rectangle. I've put some big hinges on, some big resin hinges off the MC8. A strip of styrene across the top to be like a hinge panel, so the idea maybe you unclip these and the door would open upwards, uh, you know, and then close back down again. This has got a bolt, which you can see coming through the back, um, to, to mimic a sort of pull handle open situation so this one will come up that one would open out um, I don't know I mean I just literally made this up to go along okay I, I, I've, I've kind of scratch built and I've added some detail completely fictitious um, so this is now the front okay this is gonna be the front of the cab the, 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 the truck cab will sit in front of this and I was in two minds the, the reference material that I've got which I'll put a link to is combat crew and you've seen on maybe the other videos they've got a CA30 a Zill 157 with this box on, and the, basically there's nothing on the box. There's no lumps and bumps like the usual radio truck, um, uh, you know, indeed like like the one in the reference material here. You see, it's got all this this generators and AC units and all sorts of things. Um, I wasn't going to do that, but then I decided I would. I uh, had a had a trademark lightning change of mind. So I raided the spares box for as much odd stuff as I could find, and clagged it on the front really I've put a couple of grab handles on here the idea is I've seen this on some of the reference photos they can climb up uh, off the cab and climb up onto the roof um, after that it's just some odds and ends of plastic that I've got lying around this is a WPL fuel tank off, uh, off the B16 project in its entirety just bolted on the top um, this is one of the MC's plastic suspension mounts with some odd bits glued on in a funny looking shape just i don't know it's just something that's going to be there now the back bit i have really gone to town on um i think this is the the, the part of the truck that will probably be the most accessorized by the owner of it certainly and as you can see this is now um covered in stuff so, what have I done from, 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 what should we do, left to right? Well, there's a piece of styrene here with uh, a resin handle on. Some kind of small, narrow door. Uh, hatch for something. Uh, I've then got a large piece put on. 
scribed down the middle to indicate the door break. And it appears that the doors on these, they were maybe a little bit asymmetrical, but the idea is this is a big door, and this is the secondary door that would open up afterwards. Like a, like a, just like a normal white panel van, you open one door and then you can open the second one. So we've got, um, got some resin hinges on, smaller hinges on the smaller door, bigger hinges on the bigger door. I've got a funny little handle here. Actually looks a bit more like a wind-up clockwork toy handle than, uh, than a real butch kind of back door handle, but it'll do. Um, random, like a this, this panel stuck on here, I, I thought, well, I'm not going to cut a window in. I'm done with windows. Thank you. Done enough. And so I'll, I'll put a blank on over it as if the window has been covered up for purposes we won't, reasons we won't talk about. And it's just when, when the vans are rocking, don't come a-knocking. Um, uh, anyway, the, another random bit of plastic out of the spares box just looks like something. Um, this was a big, a good find. I wanted something on the back, like I, I was going to think about the spare, uh, putting a spare wheel on the back initially, but I don't have a spare wheel of the right size to fit the King Kong original kit tires that I didn't use. Uh, so yeah, okay, bin that idea off. I'll, I'll do something with a spare tire, maybe under the truck. I'll just sling a spare tire and make a cradle or something underneath anyhow i went upstairs and got my um willie's jeep the 35 quid banggood rc willie's jeep um that most people have got i guess and uh it's accessories uh, nicely done accessories they all kind of snap off kind of pull off um so i saw a jerry can and it's holder so i thought i'll have that so the jerry can's over there and it's not going to be put in prior to painting but it just clips in so there's little clips in here you just clip it in done i have um cut through the styrene so that the whole thing just clips in i could actually push this back out and take the whole thing off the truck if i wanted to um that took a while doing silly little things like this took ages cutting these making them wide enough not too wide so it fell back off you don't want to glue it on because i might i might want to put it back on the jeep at some point i don't know um you know, if a better spare tyre idea presents itself, for example. Also, as you can see here, a big ladder. So we can go up onto the roof. And uh, on the roof, there is going to be um, a metal roof rack, which I've ordered from eBay. It's going to have a couple of spotlights on it as well. So that's going to be the top illumination. The wires can go through the shell and, uh, and off to the receiver that way. Um, so, yeah, that's where I am. Uh, the next step for this is to start assembling which is going to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, so um, thanks for staying tuned, and I hope, if nothing else, this gives you a little bit of courage, maybe, to go and buy some styrene and, and try something. It's actually not too difficult. You just have to do a lot of measuring, as you can see all the lines and stuff on here. There's just a lot of measuring and a lot of cutting. Get a, a decent blade, a steel ruler, cutting mat, uh, and off you go. I, have, I literally haven't used, oh, and a right angle. Um, I've got a little metal set square that I can butt up against the edge and do a, do a straight line so I know it's 90 degrees. That's I can have a go. It's not too bad. It's not quite as scary. Obviously, I haven't built the thing yet. <laughs> the next video may contradict this, folks. I put a disclaimer in there now. Anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you soon, I'm sure. Cheers, guys.